Hello, hello guys. Uh, Tumilang, Kuya Mor, San Bonani, uh, Namaste, Rev, Ola. Anyway, uh, we have a schematic here right in front of me. This is a schematic for an ASA travel mate. So let's summarize some few things. Let's say you have a fault on the USB port. Let's say your USB port on the laptop on the Acer Travel Mate or any laptop they are not working at all. So this is what you will do. What you need to do. First of all, you need to check the USB ports physically for physical inspection. Right? Go ahead, check the USBs. Uh, observe them. Right? obvious if there is nothing wrong uh, physically with the usb port this is what you have to do open your schematic and you type usb and you enter say next uh usb ports they are on page number 23 let's continue Look for page number 23. Uh, I have to press next, 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 next. Hope you can see how many power rails are connected, are connected with the USB ports. Okay, there we are. Let me zoom in. Uh, system USB. This is the the USBs. This is where the USBs are being controlled. Okay, so this is what will happen. This is what you should understand on the USBs. All right, let's go ahead. Okay, so you will have maybe three ports or four ports, depending on the number of USB ports you have. But this is what you need to understand at first. The USB would receive the power, the S5 rates, I mean the S5 uh, states on 5 volts, right? And again, on the other side of the chip of U14, you will have the, the output pins. Why they installed some sort of a chip there? It's because, remember, the USBs on some other laptops, the USB ports on, on some other laptop, when the machine is off, uh, you can't charge your phone, you can't use them, they have to be off as well, right? So this is exactly why uh, they use those, um, uh, uh, they use those ch uh, small chips there, or those small transistors there. So this thing will separate the 5 point, I mean the 5 volts always from the 5 volts uh, suspend. When the machine is off, the USBs are gonna be or USB ports are gonna be off. How come? This is what they use. They have the thing enabling. There's a signal saying USB on. This is a signal. I'm sure it's coming from the startup chip. I'm not sure, but we can check since uh, we all wanna learn where is this signal coming from. But this is a signal going inside the chip, enabling what? Enabling the chip, telling the chip to to turn on so that the five volt will jump and go on the on the USB on the USB ports. So the moment you press the power button, this chip will receive the signal saying, "Hey, you USB ports." Turn on and the USB port will turn on right after you did what after you, you have pressed the power the power button because some machines the USB ports it won't work when the machine is off but in some machines I've seen some machines they allow you to charge your phone while the machine is off okay but this is what they use this is, the, this is exactly the kind of a chip they use so let's say this chip should the ground somehow it spins or maybe it's just uh not working anymore your machine you, you, you press the power button but there will be no uh voltage out going away on the usb ports so when the, so there's no power on the usb ports uh your usb port won't work you might have the data right the data signals of which are these ones usb blah, 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 the data signal going in and out but it's all pointless when there's no 5 volts. I don't even think the data line will work 
a five volt is missing I'm not sure if you get this but it's pretty uh straight forward right so this guy is allowed the five volts to go on the on the usb port anyway this is it i'm just gonna stop right here